Richard's ransom. Ambush. Outlaws? No. Woodcutters. Woodcutters? Hey, sir, look at this. He's no woodcutter. That scar on his face. It's Hugo, the scar. One of Baron Corsi's men. Yes. Come on. Come on, your move. Your mind's not on the game. No, I was thinking of that ambush. That was a month ago. Yes. A month ago. Almost forgotten. Well, the gold now is in Baron Corse's coffers. Well, we should hear something about that money soon. We've let it be known we'll pay for information. <laughs> We've got all the outlaws working for us. Mm. Red Adam risked his neck coming here last week. By the way, what was his news? He said that convoys of pack horses have been seen near an old castle in the Midlands called Owlstone. Owlstone? But that's held by one of King Richard's men. Oh, that's what worries me. How comes then the Corsi is hiding his gold there? We found him in the woods, sir. All right, Captain, you may go. Here, drink this. 
Thank you. Uh, who are you? Sir Robert of Alston. Well, tell us what happened. My castle was surprised by Baron Corsi and taken by storm. My life alone was spared, and then only that others might see what happens to men who defy the followers of Prince John. Did they torture you? If you call flogging torture. I've been wandering about for days. I knew that once I could reach Rotherwood, I'd be safe. You would make Corsi pay for this flogging? Do you blame me? No. Well, perhaps we can help you. First, you must regain your strength. I warrant it won't be long before you're ready to use your sword arm again. My debt to Corsi, no? Well, good. Now we'll be able to hit Prince John where it will hurt most in the purse. And we found out that convoys of pack horses have been seen in the vicinity of your castle. Corsi apparently is using it as a clearing house for Richard's ransom money, stolen by Prince John. So that's why Corsi took Alston. There isn't a better place for the storage of treasure. And my castle's small and lonely, no one would ever suspect it. And underneath the hall, there's a deep vault. We call it the Devil's Dungeon. Devil's Dungeon? Well, I'll wager that's where Corsi's hiding the money, then. If so, we'll have to recover it. You couldn't ask for a sweeter revenge. Oh, I never thought I'd be going to Alston dressed like this. A good idea of yours, Robert. Well, I don't like it. I don't like anything about it. Oh, don't worry, Gerth. We're well disguised. You would suspect poor pilgrims from Palestine. Now, there was a pilgrim who came to harm once upon a time. What was that? Oh, nothing. Just an old story I remembered, that's all. Go on. No, not now. I don't like talking about it. I hope Corsi has left Alston. He has. How do you know? I saw Red Adam this morning. He said that Corsi, his men at arms, the retainers, all left the castle. We're taking the North Road to London. There to take ship and join John in Normandy. Does this spy of yours know if Corsi left the gold behind? Well, you said there weren't any pack horses. That may mean the treasure's still in the castle. And all we have to do is to get it out. Well, I want a word with Long Will. I'll meet you outside. Right. Well, are you coming, Robert? Yes. Well, this must be the charcoal burners hut they were telling us about in the last village. Come on, let's light a fire. about the Pilgrim. He doesn't like talking about it. No, I don't. Something that's troubled me ever since I was a child. You see, it concerns the legend of the Devil's Dungeon. Oh? Well, there's not much to tell, really. That deep vault where Corsi has probably hidden the gold lies underneath the hall of my castle. Well, years ago, in King Stephen's day, the Lord of Alston returned from a pilgrimage to find the stronghold in enemy hands. They lowered him into the dungeon to die. The next morning, he'd gone. Well? Oh, nobody knows. He just vanished. Some say the foul fiend took him. That's why it's called the Devil's Dungeon. Now, don't laugh, Ivanhoe. Shh! There's somebody prowling about outside. Separate. I'll go back this way. Come on. I'm in hope. Get!
Wait here. Hear that? They're raising the drawbridge. Why? I don't know. Didn't expect any men at arms either. Neither did I. Didn't you, Robert? No. Whose are they? I don't know. Don't you? Well, I smell trouble. Yeah, so do I. Watch the door, Gus. Baron Corsi. Oh, Sir Robert of Alston? Tell me how you fared. I've paid the price you set on my life and have herded the cattle to the slaughter. Cattle? Slaughter? Oh, come. Let us say you've guided lost sheep into the fold. I had some trouble with Red Adam. He threatened to warn them unless I paid him. And what did you do, Robert? I settled with him. Well done. Robert teaches us lessons in loyalty, Sir Ivanhoe, so that he might persuade you to uh, visit us at our castle. He bared his back to the scourge. Such is his loyalty to Prince John. Could you show such loyalty to King Richard? I would die for King Richard. And I. But would you lie for him? Would you cheat? Would you sacrifice your honor in his service? That's what I call loyalty. I don't doubt it, Baron Corsi. Seize him! <laughs> Dungeon. We'll be generous. Give them a torch. At least they shall see the gold for which they're sacrificing their lives. <laughs> the end of your pilgrimage. Strange how pilgrims seemed drawn to this dungeon. The devil took one who'd scarcely shaken the dust of Palestine from his heels. Who knows? Perhaps he'll take you to die bravely, Sir Ivanhoe. <laughs> Thank you. 
You seem sad tonight, Robert. Do you wonder, my lord? I'm dishonored forever. The good red gold will solace you. Red, I have blood money. When I captured Alston Castle, I spared your life. In return, you promised to trap Ivanhoe. You'll not find me ungrateful. Then grant me one boon, my lord. What do you desire? Leave to quit your service in the service of Prince John. But could we bear to part with you? We have a place for you here. <laughs> Come. Let us not have sorrowful faces on this most joyous occasion. A cup of wine. Well, I never liked this venture. And I was right. Well, we're not dead yet. We've been with our backs to the wall before. But how did it all happen? Well, I let it be known among the outlaws that I'd pay well for news of Richard's gold. Red Adam sold us to the Baron and... and then tried to extort money from Sir Robert who'd been sent to trap us. And it was Sir Robert who stabbed him. Yeah, but what I don't understand about Sir Robert, those marks of the flogging were real. Well, he endured that to make his story ring true. He was a brave man. He's got a conscience, too, I think. Did you see his face in the hall? Aye. In future, I'm not going to trust any... What am I talking about? We haven't got any future. Why not? We have to escape. Look, Richard's gold. We have something more to escape for than our lives. Oh, that's just wild talk. It's not as wild as it sounds. I've an idea. Well, what is it? A legend about the devil in the dungeon. Never did ring true. I know what it is. Corsi Geo the Pilgrims. Pilgrims? Yes, the Lord of Arlston, who was here long ago, vanished. There's no doubt about that. Well, he was a pilgrim. <laughs> but why should the devil have flown away with a pilgrim just back from Jerusalem? Yes, I see what you mean. Well, the obvious answer is he didn't. He got out some other way. But how? Well, he couldn't have climbed the shaft and lifted the flagstone. Therefore, there must be another way out. There's a tunnel. Yes, we must search, search fast. Every stone, you take that side. The captain of the guard, my lord. Pity him enter. Well, Roger. A patrol from the forest, my lord, reports three score men at arms riding this way. Their surcoats and shields blazoned with the arms of Ivanhoe. A trifle late. We'll deal with them tomorrow. For tonight, let them cool their heels. Send Sir Robert of Alston to me. Yes, my lord. And Roger, send me two of your men. Sir, here! I'm sure this stone moved. I was worried about this venture. He must have followed us. Will! Greetings, Sir Ivanhoe. Long Will. I saw your torch. I have more men at arms falling behind. Oh, good, we'll need them. If you follow this tunnel through to its very end, you'll come to a dungeon. It's stacked high with Richard's gold. Have the men bring it out. Why did you send for me, my lord? The, uh, blood money, Robert. What dear King Richard would call the price of your shame. The price was my life. You paid it. I don't want your money. 
troubled by conscience. Very dangerous. We must see that you don't do anything foolish. Guard! I promised you more gold than you could spend, and I promised you a place. You shall have them both. The Devil's Dungeon, take it away! The sooner they get this job finished, the better I'll like it. We've got to be in the saddle by dawn. We won't have long to wait here as well now. We were disturbed. Did you get all the gold out? Yes. We'll get the gold away from here as quickly as you can. What are you going to do with me? Will, bring me two swords. The last time we fought, it was with blunt swords. This time, it'll be to the death. Prepare yourself. you kill me. I've dishonored my vows and betrayed you. It's not for me to judge. And Richard still needs men. You've lost the strength of your right arm. Take the sword to Richard. Will! A horse for Sir Robert. Yeah. 